are, are the looks all natural? They are all natural. I haven't got any Botox. I do need a cog thread lift because my face has dropped and I'm not as good looking as I used to be. Uh, and so, what about the boobs? Uh, the boobs the only thing that are false. Okay. okay. So, Stephanie, when did you first become aware of being beautiful? Um, well, obviously, when I was younger, I was better looking, obviously. Um, and so I got an awful lot of attention wherever I used to walk. Um, and uh, I've always had an awful lot of attention. But at the same time, um, I, I didn't realise that a lot of men were frightened of me then. You say, because yes, Because it was you more felt... liberal now than it was then, right. in the early 70s. And you also say you felt quite isolated as a very, teenager. Very much so, yes, very much so. It, 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 um, because I got a lot of attention when I went out with friends, um, I used to try and play it down, obviously. Um, and um, so it created rather a lot of jealousy, and so therefore, you know, a lot of friends wouldn't really want to go out with you because they'd feel that you got too much limelight. So it was very difficult, and that's what started me with the um, sugar addiction. Mm. And then I blew a modelling career on, on the strength of that because I should have been a Vogue model. You put on, you put on weight. Yeah. Yes, I, I, it was a really bad um, disorder, and mm. of course nobody had known about it in the early 70s. And it, it was serious sugar craving, and I just I couldn't get out of it. Mm. So once you'd overcome that and mm. you uh, s s slim back down again, um, the, these claims of, uh, of nearly causing traffic mm. accidents and men crying at mm. your beauty, tell me about that. Uh, well, obviously, you know, when I was younger, uh, although I say that, probably the last time I nearly caused an accident was probably um, 12 years ago with a friend uh, at the crossroads near where I live. Um, just um, people sort of take a double take. You know, because it's it's quite overwhelming when you're walking perhaps to your car um, and uh, people sort of stare at you all the time. You know, it does become rather overwhelming. And um, if you, I suppose, look sort of fairly sexy and um, sort of wear nice clothes, mm. it, it does take men off the concentration of driving. Mm. Um, I, the man that cried? Um, I've had I've had a few uh, men that have done that. Um, sometimes it's been. Um, mainly when I've met somebody for a date but I have also experienced it only once before with someone standing by their wife but I don't think their wife noticed but they sort of went a bit soppy and they were having welled up eyes they um, went a bit soppy yeah and uh, and even now so you're saying that that was 12 that, that was 12 uh, years ago the, the accident thing the, the, the last one was 12 years ago what about what um, about now um, well, I still do have a lot of attention wherever I go. Um, people look at me all the time in the street. It's, it's something that I've never, ever known any difference.